Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mondays with Maria. I'm Charlie Pogue, the Communications Manager for the Daniel Institute for Veteran and Military Families. And with me, I have Maria McConville. Today, we are talking about licensure, specifically military spouses whose profession requires a license for them to do the job that they love to do. Military spouses face a unique challenge when PCSing or moving and have a requirement to keep their license active in new states. So Maria, can you share some of the unique challenges that you faced as a registered dietitian in PCSing and moving with your husband? Sure, thanks. It's great to be back with you, Charlie. Um, when I first became a registered dietitian, I was with the Army, so I um, didn't need to have a professional license other than being a registered dietitian with the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. But over time, the different states also instituted state licensure. I would get licensed in a state, and there was quite a process with a lot of the states between application, application fees, fingerprinting, background checks. And then by the time all of that came together, uh, seemed like we'd PCS again, and then I'd have to start over in a new state. And then one particular challenge that we had is uh, one of the installations where we were stationed was right on the border of several different states. So I was consulting in some long-term care facilities, and therefore I had to be licensed in both of those states. And um, so again, more costs and time associated with that. I think one of the hardest things about that was then when we PCS to another state, I had to verify with the previous states that I was in good standing in their state, so that incorporated paying those other states fees to fill out the form saying I was in good standing in their states, as well as the costs and the time associated with getting my license in the new state. The other thing that made it difficult was the continuing education hours that I had to uh, get for each state. Each state's rules were different, uh, different for uh, continuing education and, of course, continuing education that I had to pay for. So a real question was, when we left a state, did I uh, give up my license in that state or did I remain active in that state? Or maybe some states had inactive licensure because being military, we never knew if we were going to go back to that state again. And so there was a lot of time and costs and uh, indecision associated with my professional license. Maria, is there anywhere that military spouses can go to for the latest information or to just make themselves aware of what challenges they might be looking at whenever they're, they're up for a move? Well, from what I understand, uh, there are certain professions that have interstate compacts. These interstate compacts, uh, I think, started with uh, attorneys as well as nurses and also uh, teachers, educators. Uh, but every year, the Defense State Liaison Office, or DISLO, works with the different professions and the states to uh, enact these interstate compacts. And if you're in a profession that has an interstate compact, that seems to be able to help you with relicensing and some of the things we talked about. Unfortunately, currently, registered dietitians don't have an interstate compact, but I believe they are one of the ones that are being looked at now. So I think um, checking with your state profession to see if they have one of these uh, interstate compacts or uh, going on the DISLO website and seeing if you can contact them to find out more information about your profession. For those of you that are considering making a shift or a pivot in your career because of licensure, I'd like to remind you that the Onward Opportunity Program offers free career credentialing for military spouses, for military service members and veterans. Maria, is there anything else that you would like to add to our viewers before we sign off? No, just keep growing and keep uh, advocating for veterans and spouses. Thank yeah. you so much. Absolutely, and thank you for viewing. Hope you join us again next month.